All right, today's video, we'll be repairing a doghouse. As you can see, we have this doghouse that has been worn down. The, the frame has rotted out the bottom due to all the bad weather and all the, the environment that's been pretty much wore down. And during this job, you will need a skill saw. You will need a drill. These are the best drills to get, the Dewalt drills. These are the best ones I've found so far, you know what I mean? They work good, last long. They pretty much get the job done. You'll need some wood screws. And you'll need some drywall screws for the inside. You also will need your seal. I like to use seals. These work better. I use I normally use the wooden crates. But these work better and they last longer. And you also will need your 2x6 uh, plywood board. These are oak boards. I'm not sure if it's a 2x6, but it's... It's similar to a two by six. It worked better to me, for me. Okay. Let me get, and also you will need a tape measure and you will need a marker. As you can see, I already started doing the measurement on one. I like to measure all my boards off while my seals off at least 30 inches. That's giving me a little room to work with. So as you can see, I got the first measurement down. And I also got the second measurement down. Okay, let's get started with this job. Okay, we got the measurements already. Also, you'll need a hacket just to break the, see the old frame off. And you'll need a hammer. Okay. And I like to have me keep me a five gallon bucket or two around, you know what I mean, to do my cutting zone. Or a wood stand is the proper thing to have, but I use a bucket, you know what I mean? Oh, cut your living. Okay, you're gonna get your first cut with your seal. Cut one side, then you flip it around. Switch position, switch sides. Just get you a clean cut. Get it lined up. Matter how to cut it one or two with about three times. Pretty thick old board. You just flip the board around on that one. Get you a good even cut. Voila. You gonna repeat that process. You go right back to where you got your board marked off. Time, flip the board. Level it up. One more flip, she'll get it. Level it up. Make sure your hand ain't in the way. Voila. Now you should have your two even boards. Oh, that's the one I need. Oh, kinda got a miss. Oh, something went wrong. I thought I did a 30 by 30, but I guess I'm a little off with the cut. No worries, no worries at all. Next time we'll get that right. Mistakes happen, mistakes happen. So we're gonna use this as the front board. We're gonna use this as the back board. No, that, that way no wood will go to waste. 
That's why I say you cut it dirty, give you a little room to work with in case you make the type of mistakes. No, we're going to do this two by six or whatnot. We're going to measure it. Let me say a good 40. That'll give a good width. We're going to do a little, we're going to do 40. 40 should be enough length. Make sure we get a good cut this time on it. Before it look like, we'll go 45, just get a little bit more work room with it. Just a dog house, so it ain't gotta be perfect. I like to do the job correct myself, though. Forty-five. All right. Should be an easy cut, yo. Uh. Like I was saying, these dog houses, they. These are the best dog houses for me. You go to Lowe's Home Depot and get your dog. We got dog a dog house, but you got a pit bull or a bull dog. They'll tear that up quick. This is the best dog house I've found so far, far. There we go. Now it's time to put your frame together. There we go, almost perfect. You should be looking at something like that. Okay, now we're gonna get around to your drilling. When putting your frame together, you always wanna go with some long screws. I, I got a nine by three. Good wood screws. But you always wanna use good wood screws to put your frame together. I'm gonna put six of them in three and three. Okay. You wanna go one in the middle first. That's to lock it down. Then you go towards the back. And one more in the middle. <laughs> yeah, you do all some bad boys. Okay. And you're going to finish bucking your, your board on. No. One no. All right, one more, we ready to run. Now you got you a good frame, a good solid frame. Okay. I got this old, I got this old board bucket onto it. I'm gonna double down with this board. I would have, I should have took it off. But I'm gonna use this board right here to buckle down to my old board. The board got good steel, got good. Let me see, look. It's still steady. Pretty, still pretty steady. So how we gonna do that? We are gonna lay that down that way. Just like that. Just like that. Uh. 
Okay, this is what you're going to be looking at. And with the drywall screws, I ain't finna get up on camera, but you get up with your drywalls, and you, you repeat the same process. You put three in the front, three in the back, and three in the middle. And you have your good state of doghouse. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Have a blessed one.